Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a quick look at a brand new 2023 Sierra 3990 FL fifth wheel here. Uh, this is going to be a little faster than I normally do, so a little less detailed, but we're running short on time and I just wanted to give you a quick look at a few of these models today. So up front you have front living room area here. The sofas on each side do flip out make into beds. Electric fireplace, sound bar, some storage on each side of the TV. Now the little Televator TV area here has a little button down here. Just hit the button, drops right on down out of the way. And you have a nice view, hopefully, wherever you're at, overlooking the front of the RV. One of your AC thermostats over there. The main subfloor here is all vinyl, a little bit of carpet around the edging of the slides. Theater seat set up here, I left one of the cup holder lights on, has a little light strip down below so you can see what that looks like, and the one on the right off. Ducted Coleman AC, a little wall clock there, handrail to help you get up and down. Little toe kick lighting on your island. You have the propane leak detector on the side, high rise sprayer faucet under mount sink, quite a bit of drawers and cabinet space here, graystone oven, large LG microwave. Currently using the Everchill refrigerator setup, central vac. Some of your control panel and stuff here for your slides, lights, awnings, things like that. On-demand water heater control. Another slide button. Some USB charger ports down there. Table is attached to the wall. Four chairs. Roller shades on the windows down here as well. Deep tent safety glass windows. You have a couple speakers down here, or up here, ceiling fan, another wall thermostat there. Now going back this way, you'll see when we get up there, but there is kind of a little loft area up here, one of your air conditioners up there as well. But let's first go here, you have your main bathroom area here. So you got some overhead cabinets, step-in shower, glass enclosure adjustable shower head bar up there pretty good size mirror sink area porcelain foot flush toilet you have heat and AC both in the bathroom going on back here you have your master bedroom area now you do step down into this bedroom so the rear end is a drop frame giving you a little more height to allow for the loft that's above us. You'll see when we get to it. So you have some overhead cabinets above your bed, little back light, uh, LED lighting there, window on each side of the bed open, night roller shades as well. There is some storage underneath the bed. Against the back wall here, you have some drawers and some hanging closet space. Over here on the left, you have either closet space or washer dryer area. Now this person chose to do a combo washer dryer. You can do that, a stackable washer dryer, or you could do nothing and just use it as a closet, depending on what you want. But basically just a little slide door that goes across there. And you have some more drawer space here, TV hookups over there if you wanted to do a TV on the wall. Big window overlooking the campsite area as well. Now going up above us here on the right, you have kind of a storage area. And then over on the left, you have a bunk loft area. So there's a vent up here, some cabinets back there over here as well. 
And there's also TV hookups here on the wall. So you could put a small TV up here for the kids if you wanted. But overall, pretty cool setup. Going on to the outside here. All right, so in the front compartment area, you have two 30 pound propane tanks. Decent size storage area, battery disconnect there. Cold water spray port on the side. This has power awning, LED light strip built in, adjustable arms for tilting, and you also have manual override in the front arm head. It is prepped for a camera to go above the entry door, down each side, and one on the back. So you could do that aftermarket four camera system if you want. Talk with your salesperson about that. More ride step above step with the shock assist on here. Nice feature to have. It's real easy to flip your steps up and into the RV. Large folding entry handle. Model number located by the entry handle there. Prepped for the King Wi-Fi setup if you want to do that aftermarket. Underbelly is the underbelly armor they call it. Sectionalized underbelly so it's easier to work on. Aluminum laminated foam block insulated sidewalls. Again, deep tent safety glass windows. You have aluminum wheels does have the tire pressure monitoring system on it. Nice safety feature to have. Electric auto level system was ordered on this one as well. Back here you have TV hookups and outdoor speakers also. And down below right there is a gas line hookup. So you could plug in a portable grill. Traditional flat back rear end. It is prepped for the Lippert Stow and Go ladder that you can buy aftermarket. Just attaches to the bracket up there, telescopes down. It's a really nice ladder setup. It's actually able to hold more weight than the less strong RV ladders that you can get mounted to the bodies. Um, so it's a pretty nice little setup. I think it's rated for about 350 pounds, where traditional RV ladder is only rated for 250 pounds. Again, prepped on the back up here for an observation camera. This customer did the uh, washer dryer setup, that combo washer dryer you see when we were inside. So it has a dryer vent right there. If you don't do that, obviously you won't have a dryer vent. Down here on the back area, you have a dump area. So this will be one of your areas that you're going to do some dumping. You can see that other jack here, a little storage area right here. Detachable power cord right there. There is another little vent up there. Also stove exhaust vent over here. Furion on demand water heater furnace exhaust out right here the other side of the storage compartment solar charge controller up here auto level jack controls if you do that some low point water drains there nice thick better insulated baggage doors metal slam locks over here you have some water hookups, outside utility shower, hot and cold water. You also have cable inlets, water filtration system, light switch. Next right here, we're gonna pop these up for you. Some very important informational stickers. The first one popping up is your production date sticker. This has the VIN number on it, axle size, production date. Most importantly though, 
gross vehicle weight. That's the most you can load the RV up to, axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined. Do not exceed that number. Next is your unloaded vehicle weight sticker, telling you how much the RV weighed when it rolled off the factory assembly line and it has the length on it. Next is the cargo carrying capacity sticker, basically telling you how much gear you can load into the RV before you exceed that gross weight number. And last but not least, tire pressure sticker here, telling you cold tire pressure and tire size, but make sure you check your tire pressure Plug that information into that tire pressure monitor so you can help keep up with it. Very important. Really nice heavy duty fiberglass front cap. Does have the windshield in the front. Has a little light down here as well. Rhino pen box. So if you do upgrade this aftermarket to say a trail air pen box or a more ride pen box, you do have to make sure you get the bolt pattern for the Rhino box so everything matches up properly. Very, very important to make sure you get that right. Light switch for the front hitch light there. Spare tire mounted inside of here so it's up out of the weather, out of the way, so it's less likely to get stolen. Battery compartment here. A few of the electronic gizmos and gadgets in here as well. All right, folks, thanks for taking the time to watch this quick video. Really do appreciate it. We'll come back to this model at some point and do a more detailed walkthrough. Uh, be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation, one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. Thanks again.